actually now uh, what i would like to uh, uh, concentrate is on like what are the important uh, interview questions we get in vision part like the load runner we have three components one is vision second one is controller and the third one is analysis so coming to the vision part many people will be uh, in a position like what are the important questions we get it from vision part so i'm just giving you a uh, few important questions which comes from this part okay. so first thing what they'll ask you is uh, it is a very simple question what is v in it and what is an action and what is v user end okay this is might be the simple question they might ask you but once you say based on your experience suppose you are one year experienced or two years experienced so based on your experience the questions might change because uh, if you say that you are a two years experienced person then they think they expect that you have completed two to three projects in your journal once you complete two to three projects what happens is they think that you have overall idea on scripting and then the execution and then the analysis so you might be uh, uh, confident in all these steps so coming to the fusion part at that time what are the important questions is um, and uh, second and this is what first one is we use, we use it in each action and we use it in that is simple question and coming to uh, they might ask you what are the customized codes you might have written coming to globals.h where we write the custom codes here uh, define where we will define variables also in a global stock hit so what are the different types of custom codes you have you have written so how do you write it so what are the where you where do you write it so this is some important section global stock hit where you have to concentrate on and coming to the action part here we will record the script okay here once you record the script here you will get different different concepts as i told you in the fusion that is one parameterization the second one is correlation part so these two are also very much important so coming to the parameterization let me open the parameterization window and uh, uh, may i interrupt you yes on the yes sorry yeah rakesh tell me yes uh, you uh, you talked about that global dot h sort of customization of the part correct so, uh, are we doing uh, any type of declaration only or uh, uh, we do any type any other type of customization also in the same see globals.h we can declare the variables and also mm -hmm. suppose if you have any header files kind of thing suppose if you remember we used to write in a c language hash include std io.h some header files let me open it see include files hash include std io.h all these things we can include here and that files also you can attach here so that is an advanced concept where uh, we usually don't do in our projects but we have an option here to attach this header files as well as to declare the variables as well so this is they might ask you they might ask you these type of questions also okay uh, so the attaching the header files in the sense means uh, we, we are adding a library so that we can use uh, some that code that right. yeah okay yeah okay so the third one is so they might ask you about the parameterization okay let me open the parameterized window so this is a window for parameterization so in, inside this we have some uh, data picking methods different kinds of let me define one variable uh, yeah sorry uh, i couldn't see anything you couldn't see my screen one second i think you can see now yeah yeah parameter okay, okay. Yeah. so parameterized uh, list here we can define the variable here okay we have defined so once you define the variable they might be asking you what are the data picking methods so let me define uh, okay see here we can we have an option here what are the different um, data picking methods here we have sequential random unique and also the update value on each iteration each occurrence once so all these are the different data picking methods for the parameterized uh, value so you should know understand what each value is about and they might are be asking you what are the different um, what each value is mean and basically what are the picking methods you might be using in your execution so this is uh, one thing in parameterized list and coming to the correlation the second the second one 
inside the correlation they might be asking you uh, what are the functions you might be what is the function you use for correlation what are the attributes you use in the correlation function like left boundary right boundary original we have different arguments within the correlation function why is that for okay what each one is and uh, so correlation also they might uh, concentrate so the coming to the next uh, next section yes rakesh any doubts regarding the parameterization and formulation also uh, mm -hmm. this is said in the beginning uh, would there be any advanced concept for an experienced person or uh, no no uh, experienced person in the sense see correlation you might be uh, using uh, usually in our projects you will have lot of correlation values because if you practice in a real time real time projects we might be getting very less correlated values but once you do your real time projects in your uh, office or anywhere okay so usually if the application is very complex like oracle application okay oracle uh, uh, forms application where the forms is uh, present so at that point of time there is a chance that okay you might get multiple values around 100 correlated values so it is based on your experience you deal with that value so you write each and every function for all the 100 values or based on some uh, ordinal concept you might be using a single function where you will replace the entire value so there is a concept for that correlation so based on your experience and based on your pro the projects you dealt with they will ask you the questions so that is why the main question it comes in an interview panel the first question is okay so what are the different projects you have handled whether it is a java application or dotnet application so all these are the questions they'll ask you so they go from the back back end so once you have completed a project of a java application so then they'll go to vision part in the vision part they'll ask you so what what are the different uh, variables you have seen in a java application that has to be correlated okay once you correlate it what are the uh, uh, what are the difficulties you might have faced so uh, that comes the uh, scripting part okay next comes um, this runtime settings okay? okay in the runtime settings let me open this window okay it's okay see runtime settings basically it says that uh, how the script has to be executed okay we have we are setting how the script has to be executed we are just defining the settings only in this window okay in the runtime settings mainly you have to understand what is the pacing value okay how do you calculate it there is a concept called workload modeling okay they'll ask you uh, how do you calculate the spacing value and what is its importance you should be in a position to explain with an example so this is a pacing is very much important and also the think tank so what is think tank they might be asking you the question and also uh, miscellaneous miscellaneous in the sense see here we there is an uh, option called run we use it as a process and run we use it as a thread Okay, this is a multi-threading option here. So you should know once the script is getting executed, when running as a process, what is the difference? And when running as a thread, what is the difference? They might be asking you what is uh, these two differences. And this is one of the important questions. And coming to other section, preferences. Here the preferences, we change some of the values here before our execution start. Advanced options. So what are these options and why are we changing this? This you should understand. So in the runtime settings, uh, mostly these are the questions they might be asking you. Okay. And also one more uh, concept called a regenerate script. Okay. So the moment you have recorded the script once and then you have made some changes and then you want some, you, you have deleted some recorded value which is already presented in the script. So that time, do you record it or do you regenerate it? There is an option in the load runner view gen part that you can regenerate the exact recorded script. And also suppose if you want to uh, change the recording mode, suppose if you have recorded the script in HTML and then you want to change it to uh, some URL mode. So that time it is not at all mandatory for you to go and record the complete application again just by changing the recording mode. We have an option called here. Okay, regenerate script. Let me just see. In the record, let uh, in, go to record and then there is an option called regenerate script. Okay, regenerate script mostly. They will just uh, regenerate, the, it will just regenerate the complete script. 
So this is also important. And also the other section which is important is recording options. As a recording options, I told you we have two types of basically recording modes in the web protocol. One is HTML and the other one is URL based. Okay, so in this particular section, what they'll ask you is what is the difference between HTML and URL mode and what mode do you suggest and what is ideally which is good and what mode you have you adopted. So you have to specify with an example. So that is also very much important in recording modes. And also they might be asking you what are the different languages you use. So this is a recording options window. So what are the uh, languages you use mostly in, in uh, this particular uh, uh, recording? So by default, for the trial version, we get C, but we can do it in Java, VB, and other languages also. Mm -hmm. So these are the important and uh, rules in the sense we can define some rules, but most probably this is not an, that important question. So recording options only, this is, these are the concepts. And also we have a concept called actions in blocks, which will make us uh, skip to run. Yes, Rakesh. Yes, Sandhya, what does this rules mean? Rules in the sense, suppose see, if you have, uh, or, or, see, or, there is a concept called automatic correlation. Okay, using that automatic correlation, uh, uh, HP has predefined few of the rules. So the moment you record the script and when you enable this manual correlation option, uh, sorry, automatic correlation option, all the values like with the same left and right boundaries, which will satisfy the rules basically, that, that particular values will be correlated. Suppose if you, that will be HP set rules. Suppose if you define more rules based on your application going there, so those also will automatically implement in your application. So those are the rules what we are defining in that window. Okay, so um, so this, these are the important questions and also one more thing is blocks, actions in blocks are a very important concept in this particular fusion. So this is, these are the very much important questions uh, coming to uh, performance testing, load runner, fusion part alone. Okay. Uh, the last part, the last part you mentioned actions are blocks. Yeah, that is, will be in runtime settings. We have it here. Run logic here. So if you see here, we have some blocks. Here we can define some blocks so that I, we once completion of the script we can go here. So that is see here insert action inside blocks move up down properties. This is important. Okay, so this is um, uh, these are the important questions. Okay, so this part is done. So uh, you said that you have recorded some scripts, right? Can I give you a presenter? Yeah. yeah. 